Hey guys, this is David the Skin King from AcneRacingSecrets.com. Today I have a question uh, that I'm proposing uh, that was asked, and uh, I want to share with you uh, my take on the question and what I recommend for you. Uh, so the question is: Does acne, or excuse me, does soda cause acne and pimples? And uh, I thought that was an interesting question because a lot of people drink soda. Uh, too many people. Uh, I was at the grocery store the other day, and as I was walking through the grocery aisles, I saw people literally stacking up on soda. Like, they stack their carts. They'll have soda, like, just all around their carts, and it's just crazy. And diet soda, which is worse, actually, believe it or not. But um, I'm going to talk about soda and what it does in the body and how it affects your skin today. So, first things first, I actually have a website here, and uh, soda has a pH of 1.5. And healthy blood, your, your blood when it's healthy, has a pH of between 7.2 to 7.4, so about 7.3. And when uh, soda is a pH of 1.5, it's going to lower that pH. Uh, it's going to make it more acidic. Uh, in order to make up for that pH, and you basically, uh, pH measures acidity versus alkalinity. And alkalinity is uh, foods like fruits and vegetables, they make you more alkaline. And acidity are things like soda, uh, caffeine, things like that make you more acidic and, and cause your... Uh, um, your blood and your body and your organs to be more acidic and uh, disease is formed easier in an acidic environment, meaning you don't want to have many acidic things, you want to be more alkaline. But anyway, um, it takes 32 glasses of alkaline water uh, at a pH of 9. So this is really alkaline, healthy water, just to neutralize the acid in one 12-ounce can of soda. One 12-ounce can of soda takes 32 alkaline glasses of pH 9 water, which you probably aren't even drinking pH 9 water, just to neutralize it, not to, you know, get rid of it and make it better, but just to neutralize, back to where you were. Um, so, first things first, let's take a look at what's in soda. you got caffeine, carbonated water, phosphoric acid, uh, sugar, high fructose corn syrup, aspartame, um, and a couple other things. Uh, first things thir first, carbonated water, um, for every can of carbonated soda ingested, the amount of oxygen in the blood is decreased by 25% for up to three hours. Okay, so for up to three hours, the amount of oxygen in the blood is decreased by up to 25%, which 25% is drastic, it's huge. One of the things your body needs in order to heal and recover is oxygen. Oxygen and water are two of the most important nutrients for your body to heal, to regenerate, uh, for your lungs to stay healthy. Oxygen and water uh, are... Uh, carriers of nutrients, of minerals, vitamins, uh, enzymes, uh, you know, all these different things that flow into your body to help your body function healthy and optimally. So when you don't, when you reduce your uh, oxygen by 25% by drinking a can of soda, you're actually slowing down the healing process, you're slowing down your skin, you're slowing down the blood flow, and you're making your body less effective to rejuvenate and recreate new skin cells quicker. You're making the healing process slower. Um, so, along with that, that's just one thing. Uh, by you know drinking soda, you're going to reduce uh, your your oxygen in the blood for up to 25 percent for up to three hours, and uh, it obviously it's going to come back to normal eventually. But it's still, uh, let's say you know it takes uh, those 25 percent for up to three hours, then it might be uh, you know 12 percent six hours later. Um, so you might take you know eight hours. Uh, to get back to where you were. So you just took eight hours, you know, a full, you know, uh, most of your day, a good portion of your day, a third of your day or whatever, uh, just basically pounding on your, your, uh, your, your blood flow and your lymph system and just different things in your body that need to be at a higher operating level, you're slowing them down. So you're slowing the healing, healing process, you're slowing down, uh, you know, your, your, uh, your skin in a sense. Um, another thing is uh, that, uh, um, uh, caffeine and sugar um, are the other things. Caffeine and sugar are in soda. And I remember, uh, actually, when I was in like high school or middle school, I was at a, a camp, and they they had like soda at the camp, and they were talking about how you know guys, you know, since summer is hot out, they're saying you know guys don't drink. There's a little bug there. <laughs> there's a little bug. Um, you guys don't see it. There's a little bug by camp. Um, they were talking about um, how soda dehydrates you. And I thought that was so weird at the time because I was like, how does soda, something that's liquid, that seems like it'd be hydrating, dehydrate you? Well, what happens is the sugar and the caffeine in the soda outweigh and outpower the, the amount of water that's in the soda. So the sugar and the caffeine uh, basically 
uh, cause dehydration, and let's see, they also, uh, they also are, it's a massive depletion of minerals. Um, a study was done in which two groups of children aged 13 to 18 years of age were given uh, one of two drinks, a caffeinated sugar drink, a drink containing both caffeinated and sugar. When caffeine was added, added calcium excretion and the urine increased by 25%. When sugar was added, urinary calcium loss almost doubled. Uh, both caffeine and sugar also cause dehydration, so also pulse calcium from the bones, uh, which can cause osteoporosis, uh, too, which is a whole other problem. But um, basically, what soda does, the biggest problem I have with soda, and the biggest problem you should have with soda, and the thing you should understand that soda does in the body, is the sugar and the caffeine and the carbonation of the water. Uh, these things uh, dehydrate your body, so basically they deplete your body of water, they reduce oxygen in your body and in your blood, and they deplete minerals, which minerals are carrying agents for vitamins and nutrients, and they are nutrients themselves. So you're reducing things that help heal your skin, and you're reducing oxygen, which helps the blood flow and uh, you know, uh, and helps uh, move uh, nutrients, minerals, that kind of thing. And then uh, water as well dehydrates you, reduces water, which water is blood flow and uh, flushing your body out and cleansing. It's kind of like an internal shower, that's what water does. So, soda dehydrates you, uh, what was the other thing? <laughs> dehydrates you, uh, uh, depletes oxygen, I guess you could say. It, it, it lessens the amount of oxygen in your blood flow, and it depletes minerals. By doing these things, you will cause more acne and pimples. I know that was a long, drawn-out answer, but I wanted you to understand what happens in the body and how that comes about. So, by drinking soda, Yes, you cause more acne and pimples, and the other thing is by drinking soda, not only do you, does soda cause acne and pimples, but if you have acne and pimples, soda will actually cause the growth of the acne and the pimples and the inflammation to go even further and more out of control, because it's slowing the healing process, it's depleting minerals, water, and oxygen, which those are the things that help heal your skin to regenerate new skin cells and to flush the toxins out of your body. So I highly recommend you stay away from soda. Uh, and, and diet soda. Diet soda is not anybody. Diet soda contains aspartame, which is a toxin uh, added to all those other things. You can look into aspartame and find out more about that. But um, stay away from soda because soda causes more acne and pimples, and it slows the healing process of your skin by depleting water, oxygen, and minerals, and that's just going to be bad for your overall health, along with your acne in your, in your skin, to your condition, whether it's acne, eczema, uh, you know, any type of breakouts or any type of acne or pimples or you know whatever. Um, so, um, hopefully that answers your question. Um, my recommendation to you would be instead of drinking soda, instead of drinking caffeinated, carbonated, uh, sugar-laced and aspartame-laced drinks, is to drink more water. Fruit juices, uh, uh, you know, um, soda, uh, energy drinks, none of that is going to make up for what you need with water. You should be drinking 50% of your body weight in ounces of water each day. That's just the bare minimum to stay hydrated. If you live in a warmer climate, or if you're like exercising or working out, you should be drinking more than that. Um, and you should be getting that much water every single day without exception. If you're not, you're dehydrated, and that could be causing your acne as well. So dump the soda, start drinking more water. I highly recommend you drink purified or spring water too, because tap water, uh, it's acidic, it's, it's found traces of metals, pharmaceuticals, um, uh, what else, uh, chlorine, uh, fluoride, um, <laughs> there's like four or five things in the water that are unhealthy, so literally tap water is poison, it's not something you should be drinking. So get purified or spring water, drink more of that, get rid of the soda, and you'll start to see your skin clear up just from that change right there. So this is Dave the Skin King from AcneRacingSecrets.com. We're clearing the world of acne one person at a time, starting with you. Be sure to hit the thumbs up on this video, comment on my channel below, favorite this video, share it with your friends. This is the last day of 2010, guys. This, uh, this is my 117th video, I believe. And I'm going to be making more videos in 2011. And I look forward to sharing a lot more information with you uh, that I'm learning to help you get rid of your acne uh, and have clear, beautiful skin. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video. And most importantly, visit my website, AcneRacingSecrets.com below to learn how I got rid of my acne in under a week, 100% naturally. Take care and have an awesome rest of the day. Bye.